The roof's gone, the garage has disappeared, the original house put up in 1971 is a mere shell of a building, covered in tarp and scaffolding to keep the rain off. But this is no ordinary renovation. This is the site for a retrofit passive house. It's probably one of the most energy efficient houses uh, you could have, so it's very cheap to run, uh, incredibly comfortable because there are no cold drafts or cold surfaces to uh, chill you in the winter. And they're also very healthy houses because the, the air is always changed um, and refreshed constantly at a, at a low rate. This is the old house, a three-bedroom attached property, fairly typical of those on the estate. This is what it will look like next summer. It'll have solar panels providing hot water and generating electricity, some of which will be sold back to the national grid. There'll be thick, high-performance insulation for the roof, walls and floors. A simple piece of kit will also ventilate the house with fresh air and help to move the small amounts of heat needed for a passive house. The project is using modern materials, some so advanced they can't be found in this country. For instance, the triple glazed windows are from Austria and cost £35,000. That's the biggest single extra cost actually is the windows and that is because there isn't for this particular build, we had to use these, these windows. We, there were a few cheaper options, but it was, they created other problems that then added costs elsewhere. All properties, large or small, old or new, can get the passive house treatment. And the man in charge of this project says anyone thinking about it shouldn't be put off because of the size of this building site. People looking at this might think that uh, to have the house you know, brought up to this kind of standard involves it being almost knocked down, but probably 70% of the work here is actually to enlarge the house. Uh, the client's having an extension built where we're sitting now. Uh, the house is actually going up one storey. So you wouldn't be looking at anything like this amount of work on a normal refurbishment. Arguably, a bigger stumbling block might be the cost. Completely renovating a house isn't cheap. Renovating one so it achieves passive status is even more. For Adam, here removing the old cavity wall insulation, it's added £50,000 to his budget. All told, buying the house, then completely renovating it, will cost over half a million pounds. But what he'll get is a family home designed to last and future-proofed against rising energy costs. You know, really our only net costs uh, monthly will be the council tax. As technology improves and more UK firms start providing the high-tech materials, the cost of creating a passive home should come down, whether it's a new build or a renovation like Adam's. For now, though, he's getting stuck in building a home that could be an inspiration for us all.